Hey you guys, today we're going to be looking here at the Famicom or the Family Computer Disk System. Disk uh, console or attachment or uh, like a peripheral <laughs> came out in 1986 in Japan and it helped improve the sales of the already successful Famicom and it was one of the first attachments uh, well, I mean, like, uh, for, like, games-wise, for a system. But anyway, let's talk about this in detail. All right, so we'll go more in detail about the system itself here. So this is, of course, the place for the, where you put the disc in. And this is how the disc look like. Well, this is actually inside, but here's how the discs look like. It looks like that, and it has... Nintendo etched in for piracy protection. And one side is just like those old three and a half floppy. So one side could be winter games like this and the other side could be twin B like this. And the thing different though between this and a three and a half floppy is this thing is exposed. Do you know the film here or the data? Remember those old three and a half floppies that used to go, uh, there's it used to be a metal piece here that like uh it protects against dust and stuff but yeah these this came out in well as part of this and this is how you put it in so we open one of these and and here you go and then that's side b and then you put it in just like this just like an old three and a half floppy from back in the day from the uh, computers from the 90s and the 80s. So then that's how you do it. Then you take it out like that. Sometimes games are both A and side B, so you have to flip it over. So yeah, so that's how the Famicom disk system. And then it is powered either by uh, six C batteries, you put it there. So you don't need any electricity at all, or you can use an AC adapter like this, or you could use also a Sega Genesis adapter. Uh, and then the unique thing about this, it has here, let's just unplug these for a second. So it has here for the AC, then it has for the RAM, which you need, which connects to the Famicom. Uh, and then let's take a look here. Let me put this disc back so that it won't get, you know, won't get damaged or something. And then let's take a look here in the bottom. So in the bottom here, actually it's this way, it's upside down. You just have to be careful. You don't want to scratch the system. So it is HVC-022 disc drive, 1985 Nintendo Company. Yep limited made in japan and there's a serial number uh well of course i can't read japanese something that's the model number uh actually i'm sorry that was a model number this is the model number you should be using for the ac adapter and uh the wattage of it so yeah we'll put that one down and is there anything else? Well, the thing is for this is that the downside of a disc is the belt. The belt of this prematurely wears out. So you'll have to get it fixed. I have another disc system as well. I have a second one. This one have, uh, has a new belt. The other one doesn't. So I had to uh, get another one with a belt that was newly changed. I just bought some new belts and I'm gonna try to, uh, to like put the belt on by myself, but I don't know how time consuming the process is. So yeah, this is one of the, one of the failures or the negatives of having the disk system. And let's take a look next at the RAM. So this is with the original you know, Famicom. So this is the RAM. Uh, it is the HVC-023. And here's the RAM pack. Uh, let's see anything else here okay let's focus in so it just says RAM adapter HVC-023 1985 Nintendo made in Japan 
and this is how the setup looks like oh yeah i gotta tell you show you more so yeah this is for the to connect to the this system and then over here i don't know what this is for it was like probably some extension that they never used uh if anyone knows what this is please comment in the, below i believe this is probably some other connection for more memory or expansion or something but then you can just close that so uh yeah if i can click it back in but it's probably no i can't click it <laughs> but yeah you put this in here so you put this like that and then you oh everything is set up back there all right so you put you plug in this ram adapter back here somewhere yeah back here oh okay and then you can use either c batteries or ac adapter so all right and this is how you're supposed to put it up you can use also the av famicom but i i like it looks better with this but uh i will i do have an av famicom i'll get to that eventually because that didn't release until the 90s actually so i'm still doing 80s consoles here so this is how it looks like together there is no velcro or no like you know uh metal piece to connect it's just you put it on top so when you want to carry it you have to be careful that this thing you know is securely in place because it's just gonna you know so fall over so okay this is how it looks like and then we're going to do some gameplay and stick around all right we got the famicom all hooked up here and with the disc system and let's start it so you press this i think i have to clean the ram cart more but there it is, you see Luigi and you see Mario coming out. There's some ghosting because this is through RF. I might, but I already have the AV Famicom so I don't feel like I need to mod this one to composite. But let's see here. So you put, this is Twin B, so let's put it in. And you'll see that. And you can hear the good old disc. And when it loads, so yeah, there it is, Twin B, 1988, and you press start. All right. Too many wires. So this is good old Twin B. Play, baby. I'm not doing too well with one hand. There you go. So yeah, so this uh, the system was very popular in Japan because it's cheaper than getting cartridges. You can't really rent cartridges back in Japan in the 80s. So you can do is just get one of these discs and then you can, you know, uh, go to a store, they have a disc writer and then you can just rewrite your disc. But you have to be careful these days when buying these discs because they could contain nothing, they could have disc errors. So that's one. But you could just get the FDS stick or you could just get it all on an EverDrive. It's up to you. But if you want the authentic experience, you have to get a disc like these. So this is again Twin B and came out in 1988 for the Famicom Disk System. And then, yeah, so let's look at another game. This is a pinball game, kind of a weird one, but yeah, so Famicom disc. So here it goes the snow again. And then we will cut so that I can oh let me just try it with one hand, try to get this open. Okay. Come on. Yes. Alright. So 
So let's try to get this thing open. Okay. All right. So this game is 1986 and it is a pinball, kind of a weird pinball game. So let's put this in. So let's set the disc card in. This is side A. And let's take a look. Good old hearing, the reading the disc. All right. All right, so push start button, Konami 1986. I just noticed that the Famicom the the string uh, the yeah the wires go here in the NES the wires come up from here so it's different so okay and let's just start whatever actually I can go down and start a new game why can I go down oh well, let's just start this oh there we go. start. Oh jeez, come on. Just play this. Oh shoot. You know what I did? I just deleted. Oh, that was someone else anyway. So. Alright, let's just put me. Let's just put. Oh. All in Japanese. I'm just gonna put one, two, three, whatever. All right, and yes. Come on. Start. Let's start. Oh, good. Okay. Sorry guys, it's in English, but it's also in Japanese. Area one, cubic zone. Please set this key, see? So what you have to do is open, the, you know, push that out, put in side B, and now loading. So it looks, yeah, it looks kind of like an Arkanoid. So there you go. So just basically like Arkanoid. I said pinball, sorry, well, that's what I meant Arkanoid to say. Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you like Arkanoid, you're gonna like this game. But anyway, yeah, the other uh, Famicom disk system, uh, was not released in the West, but it was successful enough that Sharp made their own version, which actually I'm going to be reviewing as well. I have a Sharp Twin Famicom I'm going to be showing you guys as well. But this is all for the Famicom disc system today. So if you enjoyed this Famicom disc system, please uh, put your comments below. And let me know if you've ever had one or have you ever used one. And what were your impressions about the Famicom disk system. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. Thank you again for watching. 
Also, there is, I have this other game here too. I guess I can just show it really quick. It's a Mario, it's a Mario uh, racing game and it was not Mario Kart. All right, well, let's just end this one because probably don't really want to watch all of Arkanoid. So, okay. We have here Mario Golf. And then this one is another Mario Golf. I thought they had another game here with racing. I guess I'll have to find that one. Hold on. Or maybe I didn't have the Mario racing game. All I had was this golf. So Mario Golf and then Mario Golf USA. This one's Japan. So, and a volleyball game I have. So that is my collection of Famicom Disk System games. I thought I had the racing one. I guess not. Maybe I was just dreaming. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And until the next video, you guys take care.